shot clock clock running 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 shot shot clock clock running 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 Yo, 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 welcome to another episode of Shot Clock Podcast. It's your boy Bub, and I got a very special guest tonight. I got the former All-American, former NCAA leading punt returner, state record holder for receptions in Virginia, Mr. All-State, All-Eastern Region, all tied water, what, two, three times? Jeremy Gilchrist. What's good, baby? What's up, bro? Stopping through. Always. My man. And, uh, Jeremy, I know you don't, you don't normally do interviews. You know, this ain't this ain't really your space, so I want to say I appreciate you stopping in and you sharing this uh, spotlight with me, man. No worries, so, my uh, man. I appreciate that. All day, yeah. All right, so, um, let's get into this, all right? Let's start. Let's start where I think uh-huh. the 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 legend of Jeremy Gilchrist is born, right? I don't remember the date, but it's it's the middle school championship. Brandon Middle, who y'all who y'all was playing? Was it Great Neck? Who was it? Uh, Independence. Independence. Uh, y'all was playing yeah, Independence yeah. Middle. Independence at the Sportsplex. Uh-huh. It's packed, uh-huh. right? And I just remember y'all being down and everybody was talking, oh, Brandon, it was this, Brandon. I'm like, man, Brandon about to lose because it was, it was seconds on the clock. <laughs> and then, then, well. And I just remember, <laughs> uh, I remember Cody throwing a, a deep one out there on that right sideline. And, you know what I'm saying, Jeremy, Jeremy came down with the catch and shit. The rest is history. So let's, uh, let's, let's start there. What, what, what's going through your mind? As this is going down, like you know, the ball about to come to you, like it's all on me. Like, what's going through your mind? Well, at that point in time, it was just like, like routine. I ain't gonna lie to you. Like, we in the game, coach called a play. Let's try to get it happen. Let's let's try to make it happen. And um, at that point in time, I can't remember in detail, but he called it. I mean, Cody threw it up there. The guy really wasn't with me step by step, and I saw the ball. Caught it, ran to the end zone. Game over. Yeah. City champs. Yeah. The, the legends born, <laughs> right? But at that point, I mean, you had been playing like running back. I remember uh, with uh, with the rounds. I remember earlier, like you was like a running back. So when yeah. did this receiver thing come come about? Uh, it was uh Mackey, the uh, offense coordinator at that point in time. He saw that I can catch, and he was he was an innovator at that point in time. I have to admit, he was one of the coaches that wanted to throw the ball. Got you. More yeah, than running there, yeah. Right, kind of like that wishbone still. Correct. And he, no, he had eye formation, play action, throwing it down the field, and that's what we did on that one play that everybody talking about. Yeah. He just dropped back and he threw it up, and it was one on one, no safety and stuff like that. So, I mean, you beat the DB. Well, that's room, room <laughs> yeah. yeah, as yeah. long as the quarterback he, can he, get it he, out he there. Players get fired for doing yeah. shit like that. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, players get cussed out for not <laughs> playing every uh, read and everything as well too. So. Um, but yeah, but the funny thing about that week is that's the same week I won the uh well the Woodstock won the uh the city, city championship. Yeah, for so a recreation. So you're on the high right now. Like what? Yeah, you just won well, the city no, that championship. That happened Saturday. Cause the city, cause middle school was dope. It was during the week, and then the 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 the, the, the rec joint happened on the weekend. So the same week I won the day gone. Cause cause middle school was the shit, but rec. <laughs> yeah. Well, not like rec. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like. <laughs> That's when you became legendary, like Rhett. You know what I'm saying? Like being out there at PA Field, PA Park all day, watching the games. Whether you know what I'm saying, Woodstock, Cook, AP. You know what I'm saying? Like all these different organizations. Like that's what, and that's why all the ballers ended up when they went to school. Like most of them played on them them three teams. Like yeah, it's a lot of quiet Locksburg, legends. and Locksburg. I don't want to forget Locksburg. It's a lot of quiet legends with the uh, rec. Yeah, it's, it's it's a whole lot of quiet legends out there. That I mean, I mean you can run through, you can talk about. You know what I mean that that has happened. So yeah, that that was if you got your name in there, then you know I mean people really knew okay. who you was. So now now this catch, <laughs> you kind of you did your thing with the rec. Now it's time to go to high school, right? So we go to Tallwood. What what like what what's your expectations? Are you expecting that I'm gonna step right in and start? 
am I going to, you know, compete for some playing time? Like, because, you know, I remember at the time, y'all probably had, well, who's there? Jonathan Allen still there, right? Bryson was trusty still there. Jamal Walton. Yeah, y'all had some, y'all had some, some guys. So, Thomas, Thomas McCoy. Thomas McCoy. Yeah, y'all, uh, okay. We had a uh, quarterback. Rodney Landers, yeah. Rod- Rodney was there now. We had uh, Justin, Justin yeah. Okay. Yeah, we had Justin there. He was the quarterback. Um, yeah, we had a rack of players that year, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. I, I was even surprised they even put me on the field. Really? Yeah. Like, I, I like you're talking about right now, that catch, really. You know what I mean? Okay, this kid is... Put you on the radar. Yeah. Like, right, you know what I mean? You. Yeah. And so, that, that year, the coach put me out there. He was like, I just want this kid out there somehow, some way. And, yeah, I got a couple of passes and stuff like that. Not as many as I did later years, but I got I got a couple of passes that year um, with a great team, though. I mean, we had a lot of ballers, man. I mean, we had a better organization, a better structure. I mean, yeah. it would have been a little bit more noise than, than I thought it, we did. Okay, so so uh, you, 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 you play a little bit. You get your feet wet your freshman year. Cool. So... I know one thing, it's not to fast forward, but one thing I learned when I became your teammate was mm-hmm. your work ethic. <laughs> like, it was, like I had it, it was crazy. Like, you know what I'm saying? You, normally when guys were good, they had a work ethic, but it was like, they didn't go that extra, extra, extra three steps, you know what I'm saying, to, 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 to get the job done. So, does that work ethic come because I want to get on the field a little bit more, or is like, I, I got to prove myself again, like... All right, the catch, that's two years ago. That's old news. Like, I got to make a name for Jeremy Gilchrist. To be honest with you, <clears throat> I look at it as hard work going to pay off. Put the hard work in. Something's going to show. Something's going to happen. And, I mean, I'm on a podcast with you right now. And, I mean, I ain't think all that hard work would pay off to where I'm doing this with you right now. True. So, I mean, I haven't looked back on it and thought about it, to be honest with you. I just have the mindset of, put this work in, and be done with it. I mean, do the best that I can, and as long as I do the best I can, it's something positive going to show because I'm putting forth effort. You know what I mean? True. Okay. So, sophomore year, What? how how does that year go? Like, as far as statistics, like, what what, what would you say? Like, because I think you was all, all district that year, right? Yeah, 25 catches and stuff like that. Okay. Um, 25, I can't remember right now. Off the top of my head, but around twenty five catches because I remember coming out of Tallwood, I had like fifty catches, and then when I get to sell them, I get eighty in one year. I said, "Hold on, I double, okay. I double right. that." All right, you went a little further. You went a little further. Okay, I'm sorry. all right, let's, let's let's backtrack. Let's backtrack. All right, yeah. so the sophomore year is over. All district. All right, okay. Jeremy Gilchrist is a guy now. Okay, so how does this? This sale, like, what what makes you, like, you just named that you had a bunch of ballers there at Tallwood. Mm-hmm. So what makes you say, I'm going to leave with a guy that I don't really know much about? Because was that Beatty's first year? Or he, was he there the first year before that? He was. That was his first year there. Okay, so he hadn't been coaching no, no, no. the Beach yet. When I got there, that was his second year. Okay, all right. So you seen what they, what they did yeah, over the there. Before. The year and, before. Okay. The year before. All right, so you get... All right, well, we ain't going to talk about how you got there. Right. You want to? We can. All right, let's I mean, talk about I don't, I don't mind it. Okay, let's go. All right, so how did, so how did you get to Salem? You know what I mean? We, we keeping it real up here. Okay, we how are, right? We're going to keep it real. How, how you get to Salem from Tolkien? I was on the basketball court, and uh, we was at Salem High School. Uh-huh. Zon, we was at a free throw. I think with my cousin John, he was shooting a free throw. Wait, wait, you playing for Tallwood? Yeah, I'm playing for Tallwood still. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm playing for Tallwood. Oh, uh, right. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a. We hate each other. You can run from Tallwood to Salem Man, and, with, within care. reasonable yeah. running distance. But Let's look, set this up for the people. All right, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, I'm at Tallwood playing against Salem at Salem, and Zon comes up to me while my cousin shooting a free throw after getting fouled or something like that. Word. So, he come up to me and was like, yo, what you going to do next year? I was like, oh, man, I ain't worried about that. I ain't thinking about that. I'm trying to win this game right now. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, bro, come over here. You're guaranteed to get 80 passes thrown to you. I said, hold on. I only caught 50 in two years. You said I'm going to get 80, 80 thrown at me? That's simple mathematics. That's 
So if you throw me an 80, I'm going to catch 65. Um, I was just puzzled at that point yeah. in time. And granted, the grand game wasn't going the way that I wanted it to <laughs> at that point in time. But, uh, yeah, he told me that. That just really threw me for a loop. And so I, I, after the season got through with basketball, I looked into it. And the coach, I went over there and saw Coach Beatty. He was like, well, I ain't really got no receivers no more because Zahn and Marquay, they're gone. He was like, if you come over here, then, yeah, it's, it's a spot open. I, that's the type of offense that I like to do. So when you get there, right? I hope I ain't putting Beatty. No, no, you good. You get Beatty. He's in the NFL, man. Hey. man. It's all good, man. Statue of limitation. Mm-hmm. All right, so when you get there, is Shannon Lane there? At that point in time, he wasn't. Um, when I was talking to Beatty, and I, that's when I was making my decision. But he's but, the decision. But, oh, but, this nigga. No, no, this one. I mean, you had to weigh your options. Like, like, bro, I'm gonna stay here and catch yeah. 25 more passes, yeah. or I'll get a chance to catch 80. 80, yeah, that's a simple math. Like, like, that's that just like, yeah, yeah. It makes sense. It makes like, sense. It makes sense. at that point in time, that's the mindset I had yeah. at that point in time. Granted, looking back on it, it emotions and. And all this other stuff is attached to it, but, but yeah. I wasn't thinking about it, it in was, that aspect. It was the best decision you made. <laughs> Correct. I mean, yeah. let's be more logical yeah. than emotional. Yeah. That's what I was trying to do back then. Damn. You still get? Do you get booed when you go to Tomwood? Nah, oh, okay. I don't. They, 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 they love you. This friends don't don't know about yeah. I still have friends that graduated from Tallwood. You know what I mean? I got on the college <laughs> it's not like they hate me, but it's not like they cheering me. Like yeah, you know you. what I mean? It's cool. It's uh, love. I mean. So your junior year. Oh man. You you, you get off a little bit. Yeah. Y'all do y'all thing. Yeah, we did. Maybe not as best as I so, thought we let could. Let me ask you this, because I know you, because we did, me and you did a podcast a couple of weeks ago with Coach Beatty, and he said you was the franchise. <laughs> right? That's what he called you, right? <laughs> True. All right. So he said you was the franchise. True. So as a franchise guy, right? So does he let you know before he leaves that he's leaving Salem to go to Lansdowne? The funny thing was, no, at that point in time, he didn't. Okay. He made a decision on his behalf. Okay. And then he notified me, like, yo, I'm going to last time. They have a better opportunity that um, I'm looking for. Um, and he was like, I know your mom lives in that district. No, he, he didn't know that. <laughs> I, I promise you. All right, to, go to, ahead. To, 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 uh, to the grave. He, All right. he did not know my mom stayed in that area. Okay. Because, you know what I mean, when I was going to Salem, I was staying with my grandmother. And she stays in the Salem area. Oh, I know. Uh, what was? Uh, go ahead. I know. I go ahead. Up, but, yeah. And, and then so he was like, I'm going to, I'm going to last time. I was like. Shit, my mom in there. Yeah, it's because you kept doing math again. Like, I might catch this 90 is... now. I, and, 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 but, and, but, but, I but I'll be 100 with you. I did not know which I had there until I got there. But you just had tr- You had the faith in him. You, you knew. He said, you knew if he they was have a leave, quarterback, and they, I'm pretty sure I'm going to still get you the ball. I said, they had a quarterback, and he's going to give me the ball. That sounds like a good Or deal. do we have a quarterback? I did. Man. I didn't know because I was with yeah, Furby yeah. that yeah, year, yeah, yeah. I know, and Furby, Furby was that guy. Yeah, yeah, my yeah. guy. So no, I was no, like, I'm not worried no, about no. another quarterback at this point in time. Coach when Furby, I, friend of the show. Yeah, but when I got over there, I was like, okay, this this is nice. This is this is real nice. Yeah. And then I just started seeing the other pieces. I mean, of course, you, Sawyer, Cheeks, Peanut, Stokes. Uh, G, G, D, uh, I mean, we Arnett, keep, we keep going. Oh, Butler, <laughs> Buddha, Arlo, yeah, that's my homie right there. Deep, so it's yeah. real deep. I didn't realize. Pre-K, all, all, we gonna yeah. forget. I'm sorry, man. It's too many. It, I didn't realize all of that was going on. Yeah. And then when we started, because we had been four and six, five and five. And then when he came over there, and then you wanna know what's funny? Yo? You wanna know what's funny? When he first got there, yo, everybody was looking like, man, who the fuck is this nigga, man? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, because you know how he, he always... He ain't not you know no how he nigga walked in. No, he not no, 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 no. But you know how he walked in the room? It's like, like, you knew he knew he was that nigga. Like, when he walked uh, uh, in. But so it was that's like, how but, you didn't, it. but you didn't expect it out of him. Like, you know, when you see somebody, somebody like, like that, that, you'd be yeah, like, yeah, yeah. you didn't expect be that so dude to be like, stuff like that. who the yeah. fuck is this guy? Like, you know what I'm saying? And then you talk with him for for five minutes, and you like, I'm sold. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was innovative. Like, we had seen it, you know what I'm saying? What y'all had been doing. Like, we, we got blown out by y'all. Like, 
Y'all did the model yeah, huddle on us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, like I crawled in there. He zone, wanted it back, though. At, but he, it was a reason behind it, though. Huh? Because they told him when he applied for the job, he was like, why did you apply? Like, what do you mean? Then you hear Robert Jackson already applied. That was the chip on his shoulder. Mm. See, a lot of And then Rob, Rob went. Because Jack got the went, job. Because Jack and, had been 10 0 two years in a row at, at uh, Bayside. But when he left last time, he went to Nova State? He went to Nova State. Okay. And that's how. And then that's, that's when Baby came. Up up. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Okay. So, yeah. And, you know, Salem had pretty much ran him out, anyways. Like, it was a lot of funny shit over there. It, 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 it wasn't the best um, after that year. I had to admit that. So, I, yeah. that's why I had to admit he left. And, I mean, we had DMC, we had uh, Cray Little Brother there, so. But they was, had, they had, nobody, he was playing JV. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Ain't and that's why we, that's why we picked him up real easy. Ain't like, nobody know. You know what like, I mean? <laughs> Quiet like, assassin, bro. Like, we'll, yeah. we'll take him. <laughs> easy. <laughs> and so, that was my so, my junior year when he yeah. when he was a sophomore, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? So, nobody really knew about him, and he was a quiet piece, yeah. All right, so, now, we had last time. Okay. You get there, um, you understand that you're going to share catches with Mike Mayers. I talked to him before I got there. Okay. Yeah, because you want Mike. That's my guy. That's, yep. Yeah, that's my guy. So, what, what, what's it like, uh, you coming in, like, because that's your guy, you know what I'm saying? He was expecting to be the guy this year. So, you come along, like, what is that conversation, or do y'all have to have that conversation, or was it just like, look, nigga, I just want to win, and I think we, it's enough balls for Paul's. For us to all catch and go and go around, you know what I'm saying? Me and Mike played in rep, so I already knew him. <clears throat> we was already cool. We was on already on the same page. We trying to win, whatever we can do to win. Okay. Mike already knew. Look, I'm faster than you, so if I run a post and I run a go, if they not you. if they not checking me, TJ gonna throw it up. So that's at least two people out of the picture. Cause they not checking me, <laughs> you know. Mitch got the arm to, to to hang it. Yeah. So, I mean, he took the top off, and that left all the rest of the field for me to do do my work. Okay. And that was just a partnership with him. I mean, that's my guy. I wouldn't be here sitting talking to you today without him. No lie. Gotcha. Cause right. like, if you can see it, a go or a post, safety has to go. Yeah. And you what you gonna me. do? Yeah. yeah. You ran. You ran a lot of doing gigs. whatever. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The, the shallows. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Okay. So that year, right? Let's 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 get into a little bit of these numbers, right? Cause that <laughs> that sh- I mean, it's crazy when you look back on it now. So my man had to run out. <laughs> like when you when you look back on it, it's like those are crazy I numbers. numbers, man. I ain't look at. Are guys really even putting these type of numbers up? I and I know, and they throw the ball a lot more than, than it was back then. I didn't really look all at. Right, them. Let, let, let's let's, let's look at these numbers that year. I didn't right? look at. Them. The second most receptions <laughs> in VHSL history <laughs> in a what? season, right? In one season is what? Eighty-seven receptions. Who that? P. No, that's that's Jeremy Gilchrist. Oh, it's eighty-seven. <laughs> yeah, that's Jeremy Who's Gilchrist. Number one. <laughs> I, I don't even know Nate Laloa. Okay. Right. The, the guy that played for Beatty. Okay. However, 87 receptions, right? Then we got 1,399 yards, huh. right? And That's 18, a season? And 18 tuts. That's your senior year. Uh, like 18? 18 of them things. I didn't really, you know what I mean, say that look at it. 87 receptions. Huh. I'm going to say it again. 87 receptions, 1,399 yards, and 18 tuts. Yeah, that's tough. That's tough. Yeah. That's on a field with Percy. With the uh uh with Mike Mayers, who goes Mike to college Mayer. and becomes a two time All American. Peanut. D- Peanut. <laughs> Devion. Arlo, he was getting his touches. Percy Harvin. Rike Cox. Rike on the other side. Yeah. Like it's it's like nine Division yeah. One athletes on the field, huh. and about seventeen guys that sign scholarships and go play football at the next level. Huh. <laughs> and those your numbers. <clears throat> All right, let's let's give me two perspectives. In the moment, because I know, because obviously the way you just said that, I don't even think you knew those was your numbers. No, nah, I didn't. So in the moment, what did that feel like? Did it feel like 
Niggas just can't check me. I'm no. in the zone. What, th- does it feel like kind of no. like Curry when he when he no. just pulling up from anywhere? Like, is that how you felt? Like when when somebody lined up in front of me? Like the way I'm feeling right now wasn't enough. I didn't win that state championship. All right, all right, we, all right, we ain't there. I'm just I'm talking about look, 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 look here, look here. I know I was on that team. I'm still pissed. But we here, we here to talk about Jeremy Gilchrist, <laughs> the individual today. I got you. Cause you've been humble all your career, ever since I known you. Like so tonight, let's just talk about you and let's 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 get into Jeremy Gilchrist. I got you. All right. So in that moment, what does that feel like? It was good, man. I mean, that was a great time in life. I have to admit. I mean, I'm on a great team. Got a great coach. I mean, yeah. Yeah, in high school, I ain't got no bills. I ain't got no kids. I mean, life was great at that point. Life was great? Yeah, life was great. Like, I mean, I had the support for family, friends. Yeah. I mean, then, I mean, playing, playing sports helped me create a brotherhood. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's what it really was. I was able to uh, attach myself to a brotherhood and accepted me. You know what I mean? I didn't think that y'all was going to accept me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Outsider coming in. I f- hey, already on, knew how on, that hold was. On, hold on. <laughs> and we'll edit this if you don't like this part. You remember the first thing <laughs> that we did when you came the last time? Talking about uh No, no. I ain't talking about uh <laughs> You remember I took you to a certain so, location. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Okay. We so, won't go yeah. into it. We won't go into it. All right, but so, yeah. we had a little fun. We had a little fun. Correct. We had a little Correct. fun. I, All right. I appreciate we, we, you for we, that. We welcomed you to the team. I thank you. I mean, it was okay. a good uh, uh, initiation okay. night. Okay. I, I didn't know it was initiation, <laughs> but hey, <laughs> they got passed the test, didn't they? <laughs> With flying colors. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. All right, so. You lose the state championship. All right. What was that like? Oh, man. State championship, it was like a lot of hard work. I felt like it wasn't enough, bro. You know what I mean? Coming coming back and looking at it only because, like, that's your last year. You're never going to get gonna get that back, especially high school. You know what I mean? Certain things you just don't get back at all. You don't. Mm. And that's one. And granted, I felt like I did everything that I could, but it still stings. It still, let me stands out most than 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 than, than most. But yeah, um, that was tough. And I just, I felt gratitude when y'all went back and won it though. I was like, yeah, that's that's part of me too. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, you know like, I mean? yeah, we, we, yeah, we, yeah, like. It's like we made we we made our, made our big to, girls proud. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, you know what I mean? Correct. You know what I mean? Corrected all mistakes yeah, yeah. and made things better. You know what I mean? And so that 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 made me feel a little bit better. But if I could get that myself, whoo, that would have felt a little bit better. I got that you. That would have been the icing on the cake. Yeah, that would have been everything. Yeah. Everything that you worked yeah. hard for, everything that you, you know what I mean? You. Worked up to. Because it, it is a team game. Correct. It, it is. Team game. It is. All right, we back from our bathroom break. Uh, so let's, all right, let's go into this now. We have Virginia Tech, right? So you step onto this campus. You're surrounded by all Americans, mm-hmm. future first rounders. Mm-hmm. All right, what? So what? What is it like now, coming from being like we just talked about, eighty-seven catches, thirteen ninety-nine, three-star recruit. Number, oh, I'm sorry. The number 47 wide receiver in America. That's what they had you ranked. Hmm. So, now, we at campus. What's going on? Still got something to prove. You know what I mean? I'm short, small, not fast. Got you. All the qualifications of somebody, they don't want to play the game. Like playing wide receiver. Correct. Like, yeah, it's like you don't fit but any of the criteria. I, if, if I was thinking back then, I would have been more vocal. Be like, yo, I just had 87 catches. Yeah. <laughs> 18 touchdowns. But that won't, but that won't shoot. Yeah. So you ain't had me yeah. there. If y'all would have been your spokesperson. I, I like, yo, said something like, like that. Nigga, sprint. What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you thinking about? Like, come on, bro. So Granted, I might not have the qualifications that you, you see as a prototype, but... 
it's something that has to work for yeah, me to be able ball. to do this. Yeah, I can ball. You know what I mean? But they weren't looking at it like that, and I wasn't as vocal as I could have been or should have been. So, I mean, they said, yeah, we want you to register your first year. So I was like, all right, cool. That means you want me to get bigger. So the funny thing about that is when I came in the red shirt freshman year, you know what I mean, coming off the loss of the state championship, but yeah. you already know we were in shape, like yeah, top, yeah, top yeah. shape, yeah. like best yeah, shape yeah. you probably ever been in, to be yeah, honest with you. 16 110s we were doing. So I get up there, I do 12 110s. I'm, let's go again. Everybody else, oh, I don't I'm done, I'm done. So at that point in time, that's how I knew we was on to something at that point in time. At Lance time Lance, because because okay. you were dogging the college workouts. Correct. I mean, yeah. it, no, I won't say dogging. Yeah, at least but, the but, running but part. But you were prepared. Like yeah, at least like, that. Yeah, 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 at least prepared. that running part. Yeah. I was I was yeah. ready. But after that year, after they asked me to bulk up, it was a whole different story. You know what I mean? Okay. I had picked up weight to where you can move around. I didn't know how to use this weight while I'm out here. You know what I mean? And when I first got tech. I could just run yeah. like a deer, but when you put weight on, then you got to be able to adjust to it. And at that point in time, I couldn't adjust to it after my redshirt freshman year. But after I came adjusted to it, then that's when things started to change. And I got a little buzz, but they still weren't trying to play me. Um, I came in there with five other rookie, uh, well, not freshman receivers and stuff like that at Tech. Okay. So, I had even asked. I was like, "Yo, y'all have four other people here. Why, why do y'all need me here?" So, so how was your relationship with Steinsman? Oh man, <laughs> funny story with him. So when we were still at Lansdowne and stuff like that, I think yeah, the week before we played LC Bird and stuff like that, he he told me this exactly. I think you're good enough to play college football, but I'm not sure if it's at Virginia Tech. Okay. That's when, come to think of it, I was first introduced to politics at that point in time. When he said something like that. Okay. Because I was confused. Yeah, like, what the fuck does that mean? Correct. You know what I mean? Come to think of it now. Mm -hmm. I'm not good to play, I'm not good enough to play at Virginia Tech, but college football? Like, why would you say that? And then we beat L.C. Bird. <laughs> I don't think I told too many people. Beta was blowing my phone up after we beat L.C. Bird, because that's when we was going to play Westfield for the state championship, telling me to pick up the fucking phone from Star Spring. <laughs> I was like, why the fuck I need to pick up the phone from him? And he just told me. I'm not good enough to play for him. For yeah. Virginia Tech. That's what he told yeah. me. I'm, you may be good enough to play college but football. But that's what I'm saying. You're not good Correct. enough to play yeah, for him. Yeah, that's yeah, my interpretation. I'm, I'm Virginia Tech. He's a recruiter. So player, I, I didn't pick up the phone from him. Yeah. Like, he called me at least 10 times straight, dog. No no lie. 10 times straight. And Beatty had to call me. Beatty called me. Like, They're trying to fucking offer you the, the damn scholarship. Pick up the fucking phone. I was like, Coach, he just told me last week, such yeah. and such. What changed over a week? Yeah. He was like, man, just just accept the motherfucking scholarship. I was like, all right, cool. And then he called back. I picked up the scholarship. And that was before the Westfield uh, uh, championship game. Um, and they kept the scholarship afterwards. You know what I mean? Then they, of course, offered Eddie because, you know what I mean, what he did in the game. So, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So... Yeah, that's that's, what? that's a funny guy. So, so like you said, things <laughs> things weren't going right, and you didn't like the politics. So, when do you decide you're going to leave? Is it is it another? Yeah, call, call from, from <laughs> correct Chris Baby. Yes, that's this my is guy. a common thing. I mean, he was always this on is something. three phone calls. I, I mean, he's with the Chargers right you now. What, I tell you what, I get another phone what, call. I tell you what, every time that nigga call you, <laughs> shit. shit happens. Hey man, I hope you call me again, goddamn. Y'all are a match made in heaven, bro. Man, that's my guy, man. That's that's the homie. You know what I mean, like, I don't think y'all realize it, but after the games on Saturdays, we used to go work out. Me, Peanut, uh, yeah, P used to come. I mean, you came at one point in time, yeah. yeah. Throughout the season. And after that workout, I used to go up to the school. Yeah. Because they was watching film, watching the cutting film it up morning, for yeah. the next for the next year and stuff. I mean, next week. So I used to go right up there. I ain't got shit else to do. Shit. High school student. Fuck we doing on weekends? Nothing. Yeah. So that's why we worked out. I mean, get that Friday night, you know what I mean, mix out of us. And then, I mean, after we worked out, that's when I went up to the school and we started watching film. And that's when I really became close to him because then I was able to see his mindset. Uh, the reasons why he was calling certain plates in certain situations or calling this to put this person over here. Okay. And he w he was able to break it down to me a little bit more at that point in time. So, question. Him having you, the Percy's, the TJ's, and some of the players he's had, right? 
How much is it the coach and how much is it the player? Like he was saying, man, it's 50-50. You think it's 50-50? Correct. Because a good player is only good enough as the coach. You know what I mean? Now, granted, <laughs> you say Tom and Bill Belichick right now. You know what I mean? But... Bruce Arians is a pretty good downhill coach, too, now. <laughs> I mean, so you think Tom and Bill are 50-50? I think it's the head coach or the coach and the players. I think it's both. Because you have to be on the same page to understand what the coach is looking for and what the player can execute. And at that point in time, I was able to see his mindset of what he was trying to execute. And I was like, okay, if that's what you want. Because, for example, we got the play called Settle. A lot of people run wine routes. I mean, flood routes mm-hmm. and stuff like that, out routes. He was like, all right, this is the variation to uh, to the flood routes. He was like, if you go in there and you just sit down, that middle linebacker, he's just so used to going go, all the way out there. there. If you're going to hit him in that hole. He's going to shoot out there, yep. and it's going to be a hole right there. Gotcha. So that's the mindset that he had back then that I was able to understand and and tap into, gotcha. and that's why I was able to have so many catches and stuff like that. All right, so now we at Hampton. Alright? Because we broke some more records now. Alright? First of all, we're Walter Camp All American punt returner. Mm-hmm. Okay? You led the entire NCAA. Mm-hmm. So I'm talking about this is this is anybody time. that plays college football in yeah. the country. Yeah. Whether you be at Miami, <laughs> Florida State, Florida, Ohio State, I don't give a fuck. Jeremy Gilchrist. The no- Where did this shit even come from, Jerm? Like I don't, I don't even know. remember you returning punts. No, I did it in high school. I did it in you high school. Saying? But it, it it really blossomed in college because that's when I guess I was able to study the game a little bit more. Okay. You know what I mean, this one coach, he taught me, you know what I mean, you run this way to set up a block, and then you run the opposite way. And if you had blockers coming to set up that block, you got a little lane to be able to run and stuff like that. And so after he taught me that, um, that's when that, that started to pop off, to be honest with you. I was able to tap into something like that. Not only, like, if they was double teaming me on offense, I mean, they started punting me the ball. And then after they double teamed me on offense, punt the ball out of bounds, I was like, shit, fuck, what can I do now? So uh, it was just a study of the game, to be honest with you, come to think of it. Um, I didn't really think of it until now. But, yeah, just understanding the game and where I know I fit best. And make an impact. Okay. Also that season, and this record still stands, most receptions in a season. Mm-hmm. Okay. 69 receptions. Mm-hmm. Most yards in a season receiving. At Hampton, Hampton University. That's the first time with over 1,000. 1,043. Yeah. 43? 1,043. It was like the most in the media. I know. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you ain't that humble, motherfucker. Bro. <laughs> What do you mean? Hold on. That's only a thousand. Five, thirteen in high school. Yeah, but, but it's a different system, bro. Like, you know, like you, but you know you're not gonna get the ball in college. The way you gonna get that shit is. I mean, shit. shit. Why the fuck not? Nah, man. You know. I that. got the same That's, quarterback. Nah, but it's it's too much. Like you said, like look who you play with. It's it's more talent. Well, look who, like look, think about who you was out there with still. Yeah, like you know what I'm no, saying? Some studs out there. Damon was out there. Yeah. yeah. You played with Marquay. Mm-hmm. Like, Aubrey Jones. Yeah, like. Um, On Alonzo Coleman there? Alonzo, yeah, you Marcus played, Dixon, yeah. Kendall Langford, Justin Durant. And you have five 100-yard uh, receiving games. Uh-huh. Five of them things. <laughs> Thanks, bro. <laughs> I'm just here to, 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 to let you know. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah, first team on me at, at wide receiver, kick returner, and punt returner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. First team on me at. Uh-huh. First team all American. Okay, so after we transition, you know, from college, right? What what what's that process now? When we come out of college, we still playing, and there's still still a, a chance of you know thinking that we can play at the professional level. Like what what goes on? Nah, that's 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 when I mean I had a little bit too much fun. I would say at that point in time. What's too much fun? I got. DUI, you know what I mean, after, okay. uh, what was the 06, matter of fact, and then 09, I had another one. So when I first got to Hampton, I got DUI, I mean, here and there. Party there boy and journey, there. Huh? I wouldn't say, at that, that point in time, no. 
Got you. That point in time though, it just caught me on. Just got you. Yeah, on a random you. night. You know what uh-huh. I mean? But the other night, the old nine, yeah, they caught me on quarter germ night. That night, you know what I mean? I was the old nine one was really hit me because you know what I mean? I had a kid and I got accepted to the CFL. Yeah, you were just assigned for CFL. Correct. Right? So I was like, shit. You know what I mean? Let's let's have a good time. You know what I mean? I got somewhere to go after college. I'm I'm excited about it. CFL really throws the ball a lot. You know what I mean? And I really like people that throw the That's ball. That's when everybody so. was going to Canada for the coffee shops. And, yeah. <laughs> the donuts and stuff. Yeah, everybody but liked now, the coffee shops in Canada. Yeah, they was throwing the ball. The field is wider, and you got an extra man. Uh, granted, I didn't know all the details in Canada because 50, 50% of the people on the field are going to be American. Beatty said that's where he got his offense from. Yeah. From I mean, they have from wide Canada. Canada. I, I still have plays to Canada yeah, from Canada right was, now. Yeah. I really like their offense a lot. A, a whole lot. I mean, it spreads the field. Uh, it's vertical. I mean, you can still run the ball, but, I mean, I'm a pass-happy guy. I really like throw the ball. All right, so when you... When you get the DUIs, and now it's so, so do they pretty much just tell you, like, we're gonna have to get rid of you? Like, nah, so Canada helped me get out of the DUIs, to be honest with you. Uh, I told the judge that I had an offer, a job offer in Canada, and they was like, all right, we're not gonna slow you down for making, you know I mean, a living. Um, it's not a, you know I mean, criminal charge or yeah. anything like that. It's on the second one. Um, it wasn't a felony or anything like that, so they was like, all right. Pay your fines, do your time, and go ahead and make a living. So they was able to let me go to Canada at that point in time. Okay. A work permit, stuff like that. I showed the judge, and I was like, okay, go ahead, and everything be waived as long as you, I mean, just follow up. And that's what I did. So <clears throat> in Canada, is it just one of those things where I'm done? or I, I So don't... that's when the politics came back again in Canada. I mean, I wanted to be my own agent, like, represent myself. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? I didn't want to have to pay another but guy to do something that you. I wanted to do. I got you. Because I wanted to be in here But not understanding the politics of it, like, you yeah. have to have that, that person. At that point in time, you had to. I was like, why? This is the middleman that I'm paying to, yeah. to represent me. I can represent myself. Yeah. Because I am the person that we're talking about, right? Got you. So, I mean, having to pay him and then train and this, that, oh, you're not tall enough, you're not fast enough. That's when Element Element and all of them was coming out. Uh, rest, in, rest in peace, uh, Kenny McKinney. Um, he was my roommate up in Jersey when we was working out and stuff like that. He shot himself out in Denver. Um, a gun accident. I, mm-hmm. I didn't really look into it, but he was one of the people that I was working out with and stuff like that. He was similar type per, per, player that I was. But they chose him because he was faster. You know what I mean? He didn't have better ball skills than me. No, I'm not trying to hate on him, throw dirt. But I, that's that's just the way I felt. But he was fast, like, and they just chose fast guys at that point in time, even if they couldn't really run a route or really catch. And that's what really stuck to me. So I was like, well, y'all not even really looking at talent. To be honest with you, y'all just going off stats and thinking that okay, this guy can work or this, I think this guy can fit our system rather than actually doing your due diligence. And at that point in time, at the kid, um, I was like, man, let me just try to make some money. You know what I mean? And I had a degree, psychology, so I was like, all right, let me go back and see if I can help. You know what I mean? So that's what I'm on now, more of a uh, sports psychology type of uh, uh, mindset, trying to uh, adjust uh, and, and change the way that I'm able to impact the game. Gotcha. All right. Before we finish, I want to ask you two questions, right? Who's your favorite quarterback you played with? <laughs> it's got to be Mitch, man. Who? It's got to be Mitch. Terry Mitchell? Correct. Uh, why Terry Mitchell? He's a great guy. <laughs> He's a great guy. <laughs> he, he threw in the ball and got 87 catches. No, I mean, no. He, he, he was athletic, and he was like that Brett Favre of guns, guns. He was. That's his favorite quarterback, too. I mean, he, he really lived. He lived. He wears number four because of him. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, All right, so. Yeah, I mean, no disrespect to any other no, 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 quarterback. No, no, no. Carter, Ferg, you know what I mean? Okay. Before we go, from the year of 2000, so when you played, so it's from 2000 to let's go to 2010. <laughs> Give me the top five receivers. 
I'm confused. High, the, give me your top five receivers. High school. High school. Give me your top five receivers. I don't care. Ten your top in five. General? Well, yeah. I don't know everybody, so. Just give me your top. If does you, it just, matter on this side or that side? Don't matter. Order? Just give me your top five. Receivers. Yeah, receivers. You, I mean, but. You, yeah, Percy. Yeah. Let's yeah. yeah. just start it. Okay. Of course, I like Dame Quay. Can I get the rank? Can I get the no? Can I get five, right, four, nah, three, two? All right, you just give me five then. All right, cool, cool, cool. No, no order. Yeah. Give me five. Um, dang. I don't want to be disrespectful. It ain't no, di- bro. It's if I like make five lists down, niggas. Nah, it's it's <laughs> a lot of good cats out here. Hey, it only can be five. And two is two it's, is again. Two is a lock. I mean, per, but no. I really want to say three are a lot. I I didn't have a chance to do my history. You know All right, I mean? three are a lot. You, Damon, and Percy are a lot. Wow. All right, so now just give me two. Yeah. Yeah. If you put from two thousand to two thousand ten, who's put, better? If you, I mean, Quay was better than Dame. Who? My Quay was better in high than school. Him. I'm not talking Correct. about cop. No, he wasn't better Correct. than him. In high <laughs> People, he was not better than him in high school. People didn't understand. He was oh, not better than Damon in high school. People didn't nah, understand nah, or nah, see nah, nah, nah. what they was doing. He like, was better than him in college. He had a better college career. People didn't. He was not better than Damon in high school. He only man. had one year. He, wanted, he didn't have a better year. He, he only better. had one year. It's not my fault. That's how That's Betty got on the map, I get bro. With Biggie. He only had two albums. Like, why are we talking That's about it? That's how Betty got on the map. Because of Quay and, and Let me tell you something. Hey, man. Hey, man. That man made his decision on ESPN. <laughs> <laughs> Stop bro. playing with me. He but, made his decision on ESPN because of another person. Because oh, of his brother. brother. <laughs> he made it because of his brother. He's the best receiver in the country. Don't but, do that. Nah, his brother. Like, don't do that, His dog. brother paved the way for even me, country, bro. bro. His, look. Who was he look, playing with? Look, his brother paid the way for me. That, bro. We're not going to do that. We're not going to do that, man. We're they, not gonna they, do that. they paid the way for us, We're bro. We're not going to do that. I mean, that's just like anything, man. They, they on, paid man. the way for us to do what we're doing. All right, all right, all right. It's your top five, though. Who's who your five? Who your five? <laughs> it's my top five. It's your five. It's your five. Uh, I, I like, I have to admit, I, the duo, I have to admit, Zion and Quay. Those those are my top two. Um, so, Shannon's in there. Um, he's So, you dog. bumping Damon out? Yeah. I mean, so, Damon's me, not in your top five. Me and then P? I mean, P, P is the pup. So, P is... I, that's Man, why I think he, he did, I think he did years too, bro. too much. You did 10 when years. He, that's oh. a lot. We, 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 when we was at North Estate and he caught the little one interception with one hand and ran oh, it back halfway. I remember, bro. And then threw the ball back. I was like, who is I was on the field when this he guy over here doing this. All purpose yards. Man, that was amazing when he did that, shot. bro. I was, there. I was like, yo, this guy is, is amazing. I was like, yeah, he's he's top five at least. I mean, y'all niggas is crazy. I love Dane. Look, look. Dane, 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 is, not Dane your is my top guy. Five. No, no, I don't I'm, got Dane better than Mike. I'm, I'm just what? Like, man, you're yeah. smoking, but look, man. but look, That's look, look. look. Right, I, I don't want to disrespect Dane though. <laughs> I love Mike. I, I love Dane. We not talking college, bro. Man, Peanut Stop had a good year, at bro. The college years. I'm just saying, Not high school. Peanut had a good year, bro. In he high ain't school. throwing the ball enough. Jeremy, tell Bub that you lost the death to Mike. <laughs> In high school, Mike was not better than Dane, bro. Mm. Mike was that dude. Me and Mike had a better uh, com- bro, like, if I relationship. I pulled that Oscar Smith game up. That now, catch he made now, now, on that goddamn two-point conversion. Let's, look, look, when look, he one-handed look, the nigga. Look, don't get me confused. Moss him with one hand, cuz. Stop playing. When he Dame, stiff on the nigga from Tall Wood. Dame is that guy. Dame is that guy. Dame is that guy. Nah, man. I'm I'm not I'm not trying to take anything away. That's why I didn't really want to do it. No, 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 it's all it's all. It's I, I love it. Barry. You know what I mean from Calum. You know what I mean they had some good receivers out there. That you know what I mean. Yeah, you know what I mean. So Herb, 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 Five. You know what I mean, I got you. I just want to respect everybody. Oh man, I appreciate you, man. But you are the best receiver. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna come back. Link back up. We're gonna come back and, uh, and finish. Mitch finish